not intrusive at all. All right, where are we going? What's going on here? What's happening? What's going down in Groove Town then? All right, I don't know. Hey, look, the bat signal. If I don't get to Jezebel Plaza before that arms deal, I'll have no way to locate the penguin. All right. Holy crap, just stop putting shit all over the screen. Can I just take in the sights for a second before you're like, go to your next objective! Go! Go to that objective now! <laughs> I, the game, will harass the shit out of you until you are generally indexed towards the objective. Yeah, I'm I'm doing it. Okay, are we good now? Are you happy that I glided? Oh my god, I know! I did! I glided. Oh my god. Stop telling me to glide. I glided already! Wee, I'm gliding. Look at me glide. Okay, that's good. Why are you still telling me to glide? I fucking glided already. I glided. Ugh! I hate over-enthusiastic tutorial messages. Get back up there. Hi! I'm just gonna beat the shit out of you because you exist. That was a good workout. Anyway, carrying on. Why can't I grapple up there? I want to go up there. Alright. I guess we have to cross the bridge. I was trying to avoid the blockade of cops there, but... I guess that's just not a possibility. Soder Cola. Crime in progress. Just move. like the crime in progress the GCPD dispatcher just mentioned. I could go investigate, perhaps stop the crime, but I also need to get to the arms deal at Jezebel. Plaza. Oh, shut up! We're stopping the crime! <laughs> Batman does not ignore...
fuck's sake. There we go. Come on. Excellent. Good. This is a long bridge. I should use my grapnel accelerator. Boom! Accelerator, eh? Uh, I don't see that here anywhere. Well, I don't know. A A. Oh, it's that. Yeah, okay. I hope you'll try to keep a low profile tonight, sir. Trust me, I'll take out those assassins before they even know I'm there. It's not just that. If some curious child looks out to see who's pattering across their rooftop, they'll expect Santa Claus, not a black-clad bat creature. Yeah, I don't patter. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Need to level up now. Uh, close combat upgrades. Let's see. Let's just continue with the uh, the combat armor for now. That's fine. Okay. I did! Five counters, finally. Okay. Ah, it's over there somewhere.
I think I just hit the lamppost with my face. A very Batman thing to do. The Wonder Expo. I can't go in there yet. Alright, we'll go over. It's right here, I think. Looks like I'm the first one here. I need to find a spot where I can stake this place out unnoticed. Uh, okay. We'll just let the cinematic take care of that. Penguin. Not a dime changes hands in this city he can't tell you about. If anyone knows where Black Mask and his assassins are, it's him. But Penguin's hard to find. Mm. His men are doing a deal here. I'll make them talk. Guys. <laughs> so, little what do you want for Christmas? Away. Oh, Loose lips. I already know. <laughs> guns, guns, guns! Now let's see if you've been naughty or. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Nice. Nice. The Santa hat must be in charge. Okay, so punch his face in particular. Where's the rest of them? Whoa, whoa, easy, tiger. When you deal with us, you deal with the penguin. Things don't fly by the night operation. Alright, go. I didn't come all the way down here with just one gun. Yes. Uh, but these aren't just any old guns you're buying. Sure. Like Let's kick him. Fine wine. Boom! What? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Where's the penguin? <laughs> I don't know. Where is he? I swear. Damn. Okay. Wake up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not now, telephone. Please, stop. Stop. I'll call you. I'll tell you anything you want to know. Please. Too late. I already have what I need. No, 
Stop that signal before I can track down the penguin. Okay. I need any unassigned unit for special assignment. Stand by. Special assignment. Where? Okay, well let's let's head over here first. To get in there. All I want for Christmas is money. Let me. Oh, fuck's sake. Okay, I need somewhere where there is a way in. I think I could just crash through the ceiling Batman style. I'm trying to beat down the big guy. Boom! There we go. All right. Not my best work, but we stopped the crime. Superior Vigilante, I'll take that. I just want to keep my head down, get paid, and then buy a ticket to somewhere warm. Giving up so soon? Not that I blame you. This sort of thing really isn't your strong suit. Uh-huh. Really? How'd you get my number, uh... Eddie Nigma. A nut job the likes of which you've never seen before. Here. Okay, let's 
Looks like we got a power box over there, so guessing remote controlled batarang. Let's give this a shot here. Uh, typical. I mean, why apply cognitive resources to a problem when you can just throw crap at it? Yep. Exactly. Not sure what we're getting into here, but we'll see what we got. You know, if you had asked nicely, I'd have opened it for you. Uh huh. All right. Keep out. <laughs> Congratulations are in order. Maybe you're not as stupid as I've been led to believe. Why are you doing this, Enigma? Huh. Correct. I like it. So I'll tell you. Gotham's summit. <laughs> it's filled with brutes who control this city through violence and intimidation. You didn't answer my question. Because you didn't let me finish! <laughs> I want to get rid of them, Batman, to improve Gotham's intellectual and moral standing. Uh -huh. But I'm not a thug like you. <laughs> my approach is a bit more refined. What you're doing is no different than stealing. There's nothing refined about it. <laughs> huh? Your response is as predictable as it is banal. It, it keeps vibrating. Goodbye. Why is it just endlessly vibrating here? I guess because he had the thing in his hand. Uh, Batwing drop point. Oh, okay, good. So we got the tower going. Good. Excellent. Now I can access the SIM card I took from that arms dealer and hack Penguin's communication. Oh, right. That was actually something we needed to do. Okay. Oh, party crackers bland. Do your breakfast pancakes need an extra bit of sweet flavor? Do you like the taste of fruit? Try my product. I sure AJ's do. Fruit preserves. My jams are <laughs> legendary with extra large chunks of sugary fruit bits. Right there in the jar, you can find all the flavors of my home canned fruit preserves at your local supermarket, right by the jellies. Remember, KJ Sweet Fruit Preserves. Now that's good jelly. This is Brendan O'Brien with a heartwarming story for our listeners on this cold Christmas Eve. It's how a little charity for those in need really goes a long way. The residents of the former Black Fire Shelter for the Homeless were in for a holiday treat this afternoon. When they found piles of shoeboxes individually gift wrapped under their tree in the shelter lobby. Apparently moved by the holiday spirit, Gotham's favorite billionaire Bruce Wayne donated 10,000 pairs of shoes to the Homeless Foundation, saying, quote, Everyone deserves the means to pull themselves up by their own bootstraps. Wayne's generous words have been interpreted as both sentimental and ironic, as it is well known that the extravagant philanthropist to his family's inheritance. Are your party crackers bland? Do your breakfast pancakes wow. need an extra Pat Bruce Wayne sounds like a great guy. This is Anarchy, and you're listening to Free Wave. Radio of the people, for the people. I thought I'd kick things off tonight with a reading from Plain Words. But first, a little background for those of you who haven't been paying attention. In the late spring of 1919, the United States was subject to a series of bombings carried out by the disciples of Luigi Galliani. Galliani was an adherent of a philosophy known as propaganda by the deed. In its simplest form, it is the belief that actions speak louder than words, violent actions being the loudest. In June, several large bombs were detonated across the United States. At each site, flyers were left behind. They bore the title, Plain Words. The bombings were meant to call attention to the serious issues facing American citizens. The freedoms once guaranteed to them by the country's founders were slowly being stripped away. The government's increasingly fascist tactics would culminate in the Red Scare. Fear of the outsider led to increased warrantless surveillance, raids against U.S. citizens, mass imprisonments, and in some cases, execution. If it sounds familiar, that's because it is. Just replace communist or socialist or anarchist with the word terrorist. The names change, but the repressive tactics and fear-mongering stay the same. The text I'm about to read you is nearly a century old. That it's still just as relevant today shows you how little we've managed to learn. Until we break the shackles of our fascist capitalist masters, we will never know true freedom. So, without further ado, here is plain words. The powers that be make no secret of their will to stop. 
Here in America, the worldwide spread of revolution. The powers that be must reckon that they will have to accept the fight they have provoked. A time when the social question solution can be delayed no longer. Class war is on, and cannot cease but with a complete victory for the international proletariat. The challenge is an old one, O oh, democratic lords of the autocratic republic. We have been dreaming of freedom. We have talked of liberty. We have aspired to a better world. And you jailed us. You clubbed us. You deported us. You murdered us whenever you could. Now that the great war waged to replenish your purses and build a pedestal for your saints is over. Nothing better can you do to protect your stolen millions and your usurped fame than to direct all the power of the murderous institutions you created for your exclusive defense against the working multitudes rising to a more human conception of life. The jails, the dungeons you reared to bury all protesting voices are now replenished with languishing conscientious workers Ever satisfied, you increase their number every day. It is history of yesterday that your gunmen were shooting and murdering unarmed masses by the wholesale. It has been the history of every day in your regime. And now all prospects are even worse. Do not expect us to sit down and pray and cry. We accept your challenges and mean to stick to our war duties. We know that all you do is for your defense as a class. We also know that the proletariat has the same right to protect itself. As their press has been suffocated, their mouths muzzled. We mean to speak for them, the voice of dynamite, through the mouth of guns. Do not say we are acting cowardly because we keep hiding. Do not say it is abominable. It is war, class war, and you were the first to wage it under cover of the powerful institutions you call order in the darkness of your laws behind the guns of your boneheaded slave. No liberty to you except but yours. The working people also have a right to freedom. And their rights, our own rights, we have set our minds to protect at any price. We are not many, perhaps more than you dream of. Though but are all determined to fight to the last. Till a man remains buried in your bastilles, till a hostage of the working class is left to the tortures of your police system, and will never rest until your fall is complete, and the laboring masses have taken <coughs> possession of all that rightly belongs to them. There will be bloodshed. We will not dodge. There will have to be murder. We will kill because it is necessary. There will have to be destruction. We will destroy to rid the world of your tyrannical institutions. We are ready to do anything and everything to suppress the capitalist class. Just as you are doing anything and everything to suppress the proletarian revolution. Our mutual position is pretty clear. What has been done by us so far is only a warning that there are friends of popular liberty still living. Only now we are getting into the fight. You will have a chance to see what liberty-loving people can do. Do not seek to believe that we are the Germans or the devil's paid agents. You know well we are class-conscious men with strong determination and no vulgar liability. And never hope that your cops and your hounds will ever succeed in ridding the country of the anarchist germ that pulses in our veins. We know how we stand with you and know how to take care of ourselves. Besides, you will never get all of us. And we multiply nowadays. Just wait and resign to your fate, since privilege and riches have turned your heads. Long live social revolution! Down with tyranny! The pamphlet was signed, the anarchist fighters. There's a lot in the flyer to digest and discuss. But I know a lot of you out there can sympathize with the ideas expressed inside. We've tried working within the political machine, but the deck is stacked against us. The system is not designed to be an engine for change. It's more like a vacuum, pulling in all our grievances and then dumping them into the trash. We want to be heard. We need to speak out. And words alone aren't going to cut it. This is Anarchy, and you're listening to Freeway. Radio of the people, for the people. At that I can... Viva la revolution! Holy shit, that was long, but interesting, and strangely relevant in these troubled times we live in. Requesting a search for a 622 out on Gull <coughs> Island. Any takers? 4-4, four, four. Roger, we'll take the drive. Oh, police radio. Yay. Area units, I need a 1059 at the Gotham City Zoo. May have a large primate on the loose. Copy, 1-3. What's it look like? Looks like O'Malley's mother. It looks like a large primate, 3-1. Could be a gorilla. I'm sure you can handle it. That's what I said to his mother, too. I know what you sound like, Charlie. <laughs> Cut the chatter. Acknowledge command, 3-1. We've got enough going on tonight without you two going at it on an open channel. Copy, control. Clear? 5-7, we copy. 
Tell Mrs. O'Malley Merry Christmas from the primates at the precinct. <laughs> All right. Here we go. The penguin's pretty pissed off about the deal going south. Yeah, if I was involved in that, I'd be on my way out of the city. Alfred, I'm reading a signal from Penguin's men, but it's not associated with any known wireless frequency. Ah, yes, I see it here. Looks like Penguin runs his own private wireless network, using laptop transmitters serving as ad hoc comm stations. He's feeding his men frequencies via two-way radio. There are two of these comm stations near your position. Good. Mark them on my map. If I can find and hack those walkie-talkies, I can triangulate Penguin's position. Oh, uh, yeah. Like the first sim, sim card to triangulate Penguin's position. That is. That you one. always feel like someone's watching us. It's different this time. Uh, I heard that before, too. I'm oh, serious. There's something out there. There's something bad. You ever think about taking medication or seeing a shrink or something? <laughs> Alright, so we're heading over this way. Punch you in the face. I'll be your face puncher today. Oh, you asshole.
Batman! You expect me to believe that? Listen, I need to find the next comm station. The then I'll be able to triangulate Penguin's position. Then mess with our shipment. Like saving his own ass. So next time you want to make up a story, you better hope the person you're telling it to is dumber than you are. Oh, wait. That's right. There ain't no one dumber than you! Mr. Cobblepot, I swear it was the bat. He dropped Ricky off the roof of the clock tower straight into the Christmas tree. I don't care what you think you saw. If you're not back here with my money in the next ten minutes, I'll cut your damn eyeballs out. And then you won't have to worry about seeing nothing ever again. Is that clear? Yes, Mr. Cobblepot. I'm sorry, Mr. Cobblepot. Oh, what's this? An encrypted data drive. Looks like it's part of a larger set. If ah. I can collect enough of these, I should be able to read the file. Ah. Big statues. That's actually pretty cool. It's like that the big statues holding the thing. Oh, I went too far. Apparently, it's in the middle of the bridge somewhere. Alright. That's fine. No. Really? Why did we grapple backwards? Let me get the Christmas bonus. Where is it? Oh, no. Wait a minute. No, I, I think I'm... Oh, you know, I think I might have screwed it up. I thought it was across the bridge, but it wasn't. But I think I got a little bit of practice. In it. Come on! Why am I not able to grapple to that? That's just... Available here. Stand by for status update on potential assignment. One guy. Well, the other guy I have to counter, and I can't counter while I'm countering. The counter, 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 counter. Kick to the face to do. How are we ever gonna clean it up? This is the guy. You're welcome. Hey, I leveled up. Sweet. Alright. Uh, well, 
Oh, get close combat armor three. There we go. Yay. Not sure how you mean uh, skin slip, because it says this one doesn't feel as smooth as the others, but it might also be Z. Um, well, as the one who's actually playing, I think the controls in this are actually a bit of an improvement over the previous two, if that's what you're referring to. Um, it's a little bit easier to select the, the bat gadgets, and just generally the controls seem a little bit more refined. silently to proceed. Might be 
Well, I don't know. We'll, we'll give it a shot. And see if maybe we can. If I can get. Okay, that works. Yes. There we go. <laughs> Legendary Vigilante. Okay, good. Let's head on up here. Let's see how many of the other guys we can take out stealthily. <laughs> yep. That's it, just keep looking over there. <laughs> Did we get them all? I think we got them all. <laughs> it says, wow, the most oblivious guards ever. I know, eh? Isn't it wonderful? It's beautiful. Okay. Now, okay, so there's a couple of guys there. Where are we supposed to go? We're supposed to go in there, aren't we? Ha! Look at his shadow. His shadow somehow is on this side of the wall. Because that's how light works. I'm so glad we activated all of that much more uh, realistic ray tracing and light beam uh, effects stuff. Because uh, you can see what a difference it makes. I mean, the lights are now so powerful in this game. The shadow just blasts through solid concrete. It's amazing. <laughs> That's great. Great. Well, okay. Now, there's no way for me to get behind these guys, I don't think. I need to get in that door. I don't know. Let's see where this goes. No. This goes nowhere. Okay, how about over here? Anything here? No? Wow, that was useful. Okay, well, I guess. Seriously? 
What? Really? Uh... So, buddy, I don't know if you noticed, but... I was, like, in clear, obvious view. And your guy is now passed out next to you. Clearly, you didn't like him very much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess I worried about stealthing behind the guys with their backs to a closed door for no reason. Excellent. See, now this is my kind of stealth game. I might as well just run in and yell, I'm being stealthy! <laughs> Attention, everyone! I'm stealthing! <laughs>